What is up, creative world? Oh, Don's a little nervous. What's up, Don? Hey. Today we are setting up for Don's show. Show him, show him what you got. It's a dance party. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, we're super excited. Today we're setting up for Don's show. The boys are putting the furniture upstairs. We love moving couches. We're clearing out their entire space and then we're gonna start setting up for Don's show. If you guys haven't seen the vlog in the past and if you haven't seen it, I did an interview with Don to talk about what the show is all about. And this show is gonna be very special. We're doing something really, really cool that we haven't done at the lab before. It's gonna be a fashion show. So we're gonna hang a bunch of things from the ceiling. There's gonna be art on the walls. There's gonna be custom shoes, a lot of cool stuff. So you wanna say hello, Don? Hey, creative world. I'm getting ready for y'all. I hope you're ready for me. Are you excited? I am like crazy. Excited. Are you nervous at all? Um, just a tad. Uh -huh. A whole lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we're just going to start setting up. Not sure exactly how it's going to play out, but uh, it's going to play out somehow. So let's get to work. Everybody, everybody's cracking on me today. I love it. That means I must be doing yeah, something right. That means you made it. I made it. So a lot of Don's work is actually creating different outfits and creating custom jackets and custom shoes. So what we've talked about in preparation is that we're going to use these bust forms where she's actually going to fit them with all of her outfits. We are gonna hang them from the ceiling. Right now, what we have to figure out is the spacing, the placement, and they've tested it out before a while back, but today is actually the day where, you know, it's uh, do or die. We're gonna figure out all the little details. So we're just getting them all ready, and then we're just gonna place them everywhere where Don wants it, and then uh, if she gives us a go ahead, we're just gonna actually Hang them. It's a learning process for all of us. It's really exciting because when we put these shows together, we're always trying to do something different. And we're always trying to uh, outdo ourselves. But the thing is that like, a lot of the times we don't know what we're doing. So it's all about kind of figuring out along the way. So let's see what happens now. So we just finished hanging up all of the busts and just had the brilliant idea of removing these hooks so that the busts look cleaner and we can hang the fishing wire straight through the neck. And actually looks a lot better. So we're gonna go from having the hooks like that to just hanging like this. And that way, the whole thing will just look cleaner and it'll actually look like it's floating, which is actually super dope. So we gotta redo the whole thing. How do you feel about that, Mike? Five, we did five of them already. Okay, I just cool. wish she had this idea earlier. And then I, four, Jess, four Jess, four cut. Busts to go. I think four busts to go. I think that it's worth it. I think it looks phenomenal I, I, and it still spins really well. Right. It works right. Visually, it's, it's cleaner. Well. Like, right, it's, it's like sculpturally. It is. It's like mm. Is this the one that took you like 10 years to make because yeah, I, you didn't I just have put it time? away, right. And was, this was the tie right here. The finally, I finally found the right tie to finish it. And here we go. Awesome. Done now. <laughs> and it would have just sat there, you know, if I didn't have a goal. If I didn't play in the show, if I wasn't playing in the show, it would have still been sitting here undone. I know that feeling. That's my <laughs> that is my painting downstairs. <laughs> the painting I have not yeah, completed yet. Well, I think you also want to make sure that we have enough space between them so you can walk around each, right? So these are kind of close, right? So, then right? so like, comes closer front. because two, and then you're going to have multiple people walking around. So like, we want to have enough space where like people feel comfortable to walk around and not bump into each other. So, I mean, you can walk around. Yeah. This you don't really need to walk around. No, yeah, that that's gonna be a shoe, so you can just stare at them. This one, I mean, this one you could just have out more, mm -hmm. right? Where you can walk around, right? Yeah. Right here. 
right? Because then you walk around. And then you got that one. Then you got this one. Oh my god. And then maybe, maybe oh, okay, so that one, that's going to go over there. So maybe there should be one right there, right in the middle, Don. What up, creative world? So, so we designed this uh, centerpiece for Don. Yeah, so this comes off of like the flyer, like the design that Jess did for the flyer. And what we're gonna do is make it look like it's breaking through the wall. So this is actually gonna get cut out like this. So we cut the wall graphic out and it looks pretty good. Don loves it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use this foam, which is like an inch and a half thick foam. And I'm going to cut out a couple of pieces of this that we can, uh, we can actually then glue to the back of the board. The board actually came with these, but these are only like a, a three quarter inch spacer. So it doesn't give that much reveal, so it doesn't really actually look that awesome. So with that, it's gonna pop off the wall a little bit more, which is gonna give it a little bit more depth. And then we will also have more space to play around with the lights. So the goal is to put a LED strip behind this as well so that it glows when it's on the wall. So uh, step one is to create the spacers, and then we're gonna glue them on. So I just finished the wall graphic and it looks pretty dope and this is what I did. <laughs> so, oh, cool. so we're about to surprise Don and show how it looks and basically what I did is, so I basically used this pink foam on the back of the graphic to hold it off the wall so it's going to stick out this much as opposed to this much and also it allows me to mount it like this so it faces out as opposed to mounting on the back of this so that the line shines towards the wall. This way, the light will shine out and we'll get a better light. Can you make it one color? Uh, so I, would, I think it'd be cool to do that. I think she's looking. She's uh, Don, I'm what, not looking. what <laughs> color do you want? want? No, a pink, whatever. It should match the... You should. Is that it? It's no, purple. Pink. It needs to be pink. There you go. Ready? Go on. Yes. Go ahead, take a look. <laughs> ah! Do you like it? Let me see, let me see. Oh my god. Oh, that is it's so cute, right? pretty. That looks oh so cool. Oh my god, it's real. I love the light. I yeah. love it. I so love I like it. it. We're in a good place. We're in a really good place. Today's Thursday and we pretty much set up the entire show. She still wants to put up a little bit of art on the walls. Um, there's still a couple more dresses that need to be put onto the busts. And then the only last thing that I have to do is actually mount the graphic to the wall and make sure that like all the wires don't show and that it looks really nice. But all in all, the show is coming out great. Um, I'm not going to show you all everything right now because I will show you everything the day of the show. So on Saturday, I'm also going to be vlogging and I want to show you everything all at once with the energy and everybody here. It's looking great. She's doing a good job. The whole team had an amazing time. We all did a good job setting up and it's looking awesome. I also want to take a second to remind you guys that we are putting together Connecticut's 
largest art show. And if you haven't been following the vlogs, I don't know why you haven't been. You know that we are doing a big art festival. We are doing a festival for the end of the summer, which will happen August 28th. And right now, we're fundraising for the show. So our goal is to raise $7,500, which will be matched. And right now, we are fundraising to actually make the show a reality. And we've partnered up with an organization that will actually match every dollar that we raise up to $7,500. And we have until May 22nd. So if you've been following the vlogs and you've been liking what we're doing, make sure you check the link in the description so that you can actually donate and help us make that dream a reality and we can manifest that show. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to help make Dawn's show the best show ever and to help me reach other creators that want to do these things and just, you know, need that positive energy. Thank you guys very much. Hope you have a good night. And until next time, never stop creating.